Hey, what's up, and welcome to live.besttechie.net, the place where we talk tech, answer your tech questions, and of course, everything technology related. Today, I want to talk about benchmarks, and more specifically, Geekbench. It's an application and a website that allows you to benchmark your system. Now, what's really nice about Geekbench is it works on like a lot of platforms, and by a lot, I mean Linux, Solaris. I mean, who uses that, but, right? I mean, it works on that if you wanted to. Uh, Mac and Windows. So it's got the big components, the, the major players in the field uh, covered. Basically everyone. Not, not everyone. I don't think it works on BSD. Um, but it works on Mac, so that's close enough, right? Anyway, so go to geekbench.ca. Download your uh, version for your operating system, either Windows, Mac, Linux, Solaris. It doesn't matter. Uh, whatever you run, download your version. The, it is uh, the 32-bit version is free, um, and then they have a 64-bit version and also a, a Rosetta version if you're on a Mac, Intel, going like P, Power PC to Intel. Um, those, the 64-bit and the Rosetta are not free, but but the 32-bit will work um, indefinitely, meaning forever, as far as I can tell, um, for free. It just nags you to buy it like once you open it, but no big deal. I just say it later and it'll. Go. Um, and one, and if you if you would like to purchase it, uh, you can. It's twenty bucks, I believe, on their website. It's PrimateLabs.ca. You can purchase it from them. Anyway, what I want to show you is the application itself, because that's what we're focusing on. And what a benchmark is is it allows you to compare your system to someone else's of a similar system, or even if you're looking to upgrade, if you want to see how big a performance difference there will be between the hardware, you can look at other various system setups and see how well they're performing under these benchmarks. So I'm going to run this the benchmark, and what, and what I said about the website is, once you run their software on your computer, and it's recommended, by the way, that you run it with nothing else running, just the benchmark, get optimum performance, um, you get the best benchmark that you can. Um, I'm going to run it with other stuff running, obviously, because we're doing a video and I have the webcam software and everything working. Um, but it'll work nonetheless, and it'll upload it to their website where uh, if you tell it to. And then you can view it online or share it with your friends and brag about how, uh, how awesome your system is. Uh, yesterday I ran it, just before a little story, and I ran it and then uh, I had like a, a score like 9,200 9, 9, and something like that. And um, after I uploaded it, like literally like five seconds after I uploaded it, I viewed it, and then their servers went unresponsive. While it was not the best score up there, I think I put their servers into shock or something. Um, but they denied that in their tweet. Anyway, back to the video and back to the program. Let me switch over to my desktop so you guys can uh, see this application in, in, in action. So I'm going to go over here. I'm going to just select Geekbench. So you guys can see what's going on. All right, so this is the application. This is Geekbench. You'll notice that it, it, it basically provides the overview of my system information. Uh, I'm running uh, Mac OS X, 32-bit. Um, I'm running it on a Mac Pro early 2008. I am running it on an Intel Xeon at 2.8 gigahertz, 16 gigs of DDR2 RAM. And I'm running it on Mac OS 10.6.2. So once you see that and it looks correct, all you have to do then is run benchmarks and just click the button and it will run. So now it's running. Uh, if you guys can't see that, I'm not sure if you can. Let me uh, get back so you guys can see what's going on. Now you guys can see that it is indeed running the benchmark. And you could probably see some other stuff like chat, but it, it is running the benchmark. So once it finishes running, it may take a few, um, depending on your system benchmarking benchmarking it's done so right now as you can see let me uh, get back to this window um, one second so I'm gonna get to where is it Geekbench it is not here. well it's here but not where I want it to be anyway I'm just gonna go here so here's my Geekbench can you guys see that here's my performance Here's the summary. So basically, it go it it goes it goes over your process, your your memory, um, and all the various cores and L2 and L1 cache and everything, and, and it goes through different uh, encryption methods and things like that, just testing how 
fast. It can compress images and text and decompress them and all that other stuff um, using you know single sing, a single core or a multi core um, or a threaded uh, single threaded or multi threaded. It's very very nice, very very um, thorough. And uh, here's memory. Here's here's my memory score um, for different read and write sequentials and things like that. Um, and it's very in depth. And as I mentioned, here's my score is a little lower than yesterday. I had like a nine thousand yesterday. I swear. I'm probably have a few more things running right now. But right now my score is eight thousand nine hundred and eighty. And of course you can submit it. So if I go and click the submit button, submitting results. Boom, it'll open up the browser, and as you can see, the URL is browse.geekbench.ca, and you can see my results, that's for me, submitted one second ago, and here's the score, uh, you can't see that because of the uh, browse, here, there we go, score, but as I mentioned, you can um, check the performance of similar systems, so if I go and click this link, right here I should see once it retrieves more data um, similar systems or if it freezes my there we go um, similar systems and where I rank in terms of the similar systems to mine so let me resize the window really quick so you guys can see what the heck is going on uh, cam twist is being a, a butt let's try this here there we go. Let me put it in Firefox so you guys can see it better. Okay. Sorry about that. Anyway, you can see where I rank. That's me. Um, compared to other systems in my in of my of my of my type. So of the Mac Pro 2008, early 2008, I'm ranking right here in terms of processor speed. And so on. You can go through it and uh, see RAM and this guy has a 10,000 score that's pretty nice uh, and let's see his specs he has a faster processor than I do um, but how much, and he has but he has less RAM than I do so you know it balances out um, but you get the idea you can check it out browse.geekbench.ca see where see how your system compares to someone else's anyway thanks for watching of course this has been live.besttechie.net and I think this website is freaking out again because it's freezing up Firefox. Anyway, this is the website where you can get the uh, the program. Download it right here, Geekbench, primatelabs.ca slash geekbench or just geekbench.ca. And as I mentioned, you can buy it and it costs around 20 bucks for Geekbench too. 20 bucks. Let me know what you think. Post your... I'm going to switch back really quick. Post, here we go, nothing's working today. Post your uh, Geekbench uh, performance ratings in the comments on the blog or on YouTube. I want to see how you guys do compared to me. Uh, probably do better. Maybe. Who knows? What kind of system do you have? Leave it. specs in the comments. Link to your Geekbench score in the comments. Of course, see you next time. Thanks for watching. And remember, remember, take care of your computers and hopefully get a good benchmark score.